Yeah. I mean, why don't they just sponsor the video? Because they did. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. You've got a good one here, I heard, right? I haven't seen it yet. So what do we got for this week's... Why don't they just... Ooh. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, uh, oh, I got it. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. So this is from... Uh, okay, so there's actually a two-parter here. So Neil Pork, <laughs> which is a great <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah, he's an awesome 3D artist. He does really good yeah. renders of, of uh, Starship and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Well, he, he posted uh, this... Which is like, obviously for people who are listening, you can't hear this, but this is a little a transparency of the starship and what it looks like on the inside. The and, upper stage, right? Yeah, the upper stage. Uh, Eduardo El Francisco says, Hey folks, why don't they just hashtag put one cylinder inside the other, keeping the three to one proportion instead of that pipe for the methane going down? Which you kind of have to see to, to get what that means. Is that the but, pipe in the middle right there? Yep. And the three raptors you know, at the bottom? Toward the bottom there, yeah. Yep. So basically, he's saying, why do they divide the full, like the full nine meter wide diameter? They end up kind of putting that bulkhead in the middle between them to separate the mm -hmm. top from the bottom. He's saying instead, why don't they just put a cylinder inside of that cylinder, and you know, put the one of the you know like the smaller tank, which is I think the the liquid oxygen inside the small cylinder and then the outer cylinder the outer diameter you know the small cylinder might be a three meter diameter and then the outer cylinder would be nine milli you know nine, nine meter and then yeah why don't they just do that <laughs> i see what you're saying i imagine it has to do with just the extreme pressures involved right i mean they're, they're still trying to get the the sn5 to have they, have they done pressure testing on that yet um oh gosh i don't remember yeah yeah serial number five no i don't remember and serial number five past cryo i don't even remember anymore but they're getting they're getting ready to, to static fire it which is probably going to be this weekend by the time we listen to this but um i don't remember actually where exactly they're at with that because it's yeah but yeah but what i'm saying is that the, the pressure is a big deal like they, they've been getting a, a lot of them not surviving pressure tests. So I, I imagine you have to keep it completely, not to quote the offspring, you got to keep them separated. And, <laughs> and, uh, and so that it can handle that, that pressure. I mean, that's my guess. I think it has I'm, to do with leave it at that. speed. Don't you want that stuff going down at a certain speed and by restricting the flow, it'll speed it up. Maybe I'm wrong, but. It looks like to me that the reason to do that is to move the fuel in a more, in a specific way. Uh, you're okay. You both have the right idea. And I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't know for sure at all. Really. <laughs> I have some educated guesses. Um, and there's two main educated guesses of why I think they don't, but I don't know for sure. Um, ben, as far as the speed goes, that's mostly fed by the pumps. The, mm. the pumps really drive the speed. It's not like, um, it's not like on their, you know, they're not relying on like gravity to, to pull this down. And therefore if they shrink the diameter, it speeds up the flow. You know, it really right, has, right, right. um, the pumps are pulling it like, <laughs> uh, really, really, really strong amounts of pressure to, to suck that, that stuff in there. Um, and, and Joe, uh, keeping it separated. I, I think, I think they could they could keep it separate, but I think the one thing that'd be hard to separate if you have the entire cylinder inside the other cylinder would be the temperature differential, because the mm -hmm. um, you know all of a sudden you have a lot more commonality, uh, a lot more surface area that's common between your your fuel and your oxidizer, and your fuel and oxidizer are almost never at anywhere near the same temperature. Like with RP one, uh, RP one sits out at room temp. And, you know, like it's just, it's pretty much never below, you know, 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius. It's just like, it's never below freezing really. And as opposed to the liquid oxygen, which is in another, which is in the next tank, that's like minus almost 200 degrees Celsius or in SpaceX's case, about 200 minus 200 Celsius. Very, very, very cold. So you actually want as little of it touching as possible. You know, you want that mm. bulkhead to share because otherwise you actually end up freezing off your... Right. You know, your your fuel or in the case of if it's the opposite way, like so say if you have liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, that bulkhead has to be very well insulated because the, the liquid hydrogen will actually freeze the liquid oxygen into solid oxygen. 
So you don't want a lot. But now with liquid methane, is pretty relatively close in temperature um, to like so that maybe could be okay an okay thing to have is, is those those sharing it but I think I think the bigger reason is actually surface area or more fuel right and sorry not, not more fuel is more surface area of the uh, of the actual metal so mm -hmm. I bet if you do the math and run the surface area that bulkhead is probably less weight and less less space than having a cylinder and then another cylinder inside it. I think that's mm. the main thing. And yeah, don't forget. Yeah. Um, also don't forget that when you in increase diameter, um, the, you know, so, so when you go up, uh, if you take a circle and you increase it, basically double its diameter, it goes up, uh, the area goes up cube by the, uh, square of the actual circumference. So you end up, really the bigger your the bigger the diameter the more mass efficient your tanks get so now if you have a smaller three meter we'll say diameter tank in the center it's actually and you know it, you'd have to like it'd, it'd be pretty mass inefficient and and yeah uh actually greg in our discord says the the first thing to saturn 1b was basically several small vertical tanks they were literally the here i'll, I'll pull this up here because the saturn 1b is still one of my favorite um was still one of my favorite vehicles. It's just hilarious. Um, I thought the, you said Saturn V. I was going to correct you. No, Saturn 1B. Yeah. Um, not the, the Saturn V, I think they call it. <laughs> it's like, um, even I know that one, Tim. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, is one of, one of my, uh, let's not pull up a copywritten one here. Let's grab one from. Did, did I ever, did I ever tell you that I had a teacher in middle school who thought that Apollo 11 was Apollo 2? <laughs> no. And I corrected her and she refused to oh. like capitulate and I got in trouble. And so <laughs> home. And my you parents got, got home? mad at me for correcting the teacher and I'm like, but she was so wrong. And I couldn't understand. Like she lived through it. Oh. I wasn't even there. She was there for it. How does she not know this? And sorry, I'm still and you got in trouble for it? Of course. Really? That just seems insane. Like if you're just plain plain wrong. I grew up I, in a time when um the parents took the teacher's side. Like no matter what. No matter what. Yeah. Especially both my parents being teachers and they knew this teacher. So <laughs> you don't correct yeah. Mrs. Jensen. Uh, Apollo two was a mission, right? Or was that one of the test ones that didn't go? Actually so Apollo well? two never happened. Yeah, kind Apollo of Apollo one, one fire one. happened, and then they picked up what at seven. Oh, okay. Well, for human, but the first like Apollo four, I think was the first time the Saturn five because uh, like two, three, oh, okay. two, three, and four were kind of like test, you yeah, know, missions yeah. of just the capsule itself. I'm still trying to find a decent, um, decent picture of the first stage, um, <laughs> but um, the the Apollo anyway, the, the Saturn one B um, was actually composed of. Like several little tiny tanks. Here, let me show you. This is one. This one's decent. Um, it's composed of basically redstone tanks. You know, like the the first redstone rocket that for mm. the first two Mercury missions, it was literally multiple redstone tanks put together. And then I think it was like a Jupiter inner tank. So they just separated them out. They put like I don't remember six of them in a circle in a cluster, and then um, had a, another tank in the center of that, and. Um, yeah, so that was like the redstone heavy. Yeah, it basically is exactly. <laughs> but uh, but it had you Why know don't had they different just engines. smack five of these together and you know call it a day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean that's pretty much that's what it, that's pretty much what it was. Um, but the the difference is, uh, yeah, it, it, and this ends up being really really mass inefficient, really mass inefficient. Um, yeah, because you have all these extra tanks. And all this extra wall just for these tanks, you know, and it's, yeah, it was a cheap, easy way to build it, but, um, it's, it's not mass efficient. So, mm -hmm. so something like that kind of has been done. And this is an extreme version because there's so many, you know, uh, our, the person in the wild, the just, I already forgot who it was. I'm sorry. Um, but you know, they, they were talking about just having one tank on the outside and then another tank on the inside. This is kind of the extreme version where there's like six tanks on the outside and then one in the middle. But, um, but still, yeah, the, the theory kind of lives on in that same sense but yeah i don't know what would be the bigger reason whether it's mass efficiency or temperature differential but i think they both play some kind of consideration cool. great question there though you go. I, and I, I might be wrong i might be completely wrong on that I'd, I'd love to hear more about it 
That was Which, Eduardo El Francisco. Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you that, was a, yeah, yeah, that was a great one. And Neil Pork for posting the... Yeah, the original yeah, picture. Cool. I love Neil Pork stuff. And for having a really yeah, awesome handle. That's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is It's great. not retro pork. It's <laughs> Neo <right>. pork. <laughs> Nuevo. New. Get us. Give me... I want that new... That new pig meat. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.